This is a daily chart on Bitcoin. We're going to look at Bitcoin charts. We're going to look at some Cardano, ADA charts, and Ethereum, ETH charts. This is kind of group all of crypto together to discuss what I'm anticipating going into this new week and what I think is in play. This is being done specifically because from my mindset, I need to prepare for this. So I'm just sharing with you the way that I see things. So if you appreciate this content, please hit that like on the way in and let's just do it. So that's an ugly Bitcoin daily chart. It's obviously been consolidating, especially in today's candle. Not much price volatility at all. Kevin Svensson over here on Twitter kind of asking this question on the very short term, the hourly, are we going up or down? This is after the huge crash and we've been very sideways, as you can see on the hourly. In terms of that hourly chart that he was just kind of looking at, we kind of broke to the upside. We're going to revisit that very short-term consolidation and the move that could potentially be in play. But before we do, I want to make a couple points. Number one, in relation to traditional markets. This is S&P 500 on the weekly. I think this is, this is a kind of a good thing. This is weekly consolidation on the, on the S&P 500. So stock market consolidating right at the 20-week moving average right now. This is a huge test. If we get a bounce of continuation to the upside, this could be good for crypto. If not, we might have the perfect setup for what is in store for crypto in the coming months. We've talked about potentially all the you know next couple of months or so being red for crypto. This could be the case for that. That is to say, 20-week fails and this is going to actually consolidate lower, maybe even pull into the 200 week over the coming, you know, 10 to 12 weeks, right? And this is a kind of a move that we saw back here all the way in 2018 to the 200 uh, week moving average. That's the downside. If we get upside on the shorter term and we start moving up on the S&P 500, that's something to consider for crypto. The other thing is this, going into this brand new week, this is kind of a headline that's floating around. This is the last couple of days. Crypto prices rally back. This was right after the crash, right after the crash that we're about to look at. Crypto prices rally back, as SEC said, to be ready to green light Ether futures ETFs. Uh, you can see it talking about the bounce back, and then this comes just an hour after crypto prices plummeted across the board. When will this happen? And another question, will this headline continue to bring steam, bullish steam into the crypto markets? Bullish speculation. Because here we are in the daily, and this is really what I'm paying attention to now. The daily is just like artwork once again over the years, everybody, even though we fall into these ridiculously boring and kind of annoying consolidation sideways just areas, it all comes together eventually. And we start getting just completion of structure. We start really approaching targets and really getting just a, nice, a nicer, clear guide of what's going on in these markets. And here's what's going on. We have this lower trend line that we've been tracking for quite a while for Bitcoin in the rising wedge, broke out of the rising wedge in this last kind of quick capitulation to the downside, we're getting some short-term consolidation. Want to bring something to light right here. Look at this RSI, the slower moving momentum oscillator. This is historic almost. We could bring this yellow line up. If we zoom out on this daily, look at this. We're going back to really just this entire last cycle, the last time. Bitcoin was this low on the RSI was all the way back here in March 2020. What was that? That was COVID. That was that insanely mass fear event all the way back here. That's the last time Bitcoin was this oversold. What did it do after that? It bounced very strongly. I think there is a very, very high probability that the next move up for Bitcoin will be up or the, me the next move will be up for Bitcoin. And I want to discuss that because for me personally, and this is why I'm talking about in this video, I don't want to be faked out if it happens for crypto. So the case is here. We broke to the downside out of this, lo this lower trend line, which is fine. We have a target to the downside. It's in this $21,000 region. That's not an overnight thing. That's not even like a one to two week thing. This is what could potentially happen. I'll talk about the bullish confirmation where this might be broken in just a minute, but this is the story of these very big patterns. This is what it looks like for Bitcoin. So break out of the lower trend line, capitulation, right? Oversold, time for consolidation. We just looked at it on this hourly chart that Kevin was alluding to. Uh, the breakout target over here, I think is around $27,300 or so. We go to the daily chart. Let's look at where $27,300 is. I'll put a horizontal line. We can kind of just plot it out. 27,000, right around here, 300 some dollars. 
So this is the case for Bitcoin to bounce. The velocity of that, not sure, but this is what I'm keeping an eye off on. The bounce, whether it's tomorrow, this week, next couple of days, it's this area. So it's this trend line that Bitcoin was in, this slow just fall, this, this slow, lower, low, lower, high channel that Bitcoin was in. It's that lower trend line, that area I'm looking for as resistance, as I am also looking at this lower trend line on the macro, this dotted line as resistance as well. That's what this green triangle is. This is a resistance area for Bitcoin, even if we get a bounce to the upside. A bounce from where we are right now to that lower part of the green resistance area is around 8%. Upper, upper area is around 12%. That's a nice move. But in that, in that environment, I'm personally not sitting here like extremely bullish. It'll be a first step towards bullishness. What I'd be watching for though is can Bitcoin break with, with just velocity and strength that resistance area? A move kind of like we saw back here. And this was off of a very pretty oversold area back in March 2023. This swing low, just this power move, Bitcoin uh, exploding to the upside through those moving averages. Because notice, confluent with the upper area of this resistance area of the triangle, what is it? We have the 20-day moving average, which is in the triangle now around 28,800. We have the 50-day moving average right around 29,600 and trending down, right? So if Bitcoin were to just make its move to the upside, maybe it's slower, maybe it's quicker, we have a couple things happening. The short-term targets out of this very short-term triangle, right around 27,300 is right there. And just above that area is our kind of more midterm resistance area for Bitcoin. What happens with Bitcoin if it gets to that area? Will this even happen? Potentially not. Bitcoin might just be sideways for the next couple of days, next day, and actually just keep falling. We see this often, but what is so compelling about that happening and what will be so interesting to see is this RSI on the daily. Once again, how oversold that might actually get if we continue to the downside. Because notice, it's not bounced much out of the oversold that it's already kind of plummeted down to. So if it continues to fall, that's going to be telling. That's kind of why I, I tend to lean towards thinking we're going to get a nice bounce, maybe 10 to 15% bounce. But what happens next is the question, will Bitcoin break this resistance? And the same thing is, is kind of happening over here on ADA, on the ADA daily charts. ADA kind of in the last day or two outperforming Bitcoin, um, it, which has kind of been interesting to see. But needless to say, ADA hit its target out of this falling channel that we've been tracking, made its pullback to its lower trend line. But notice where the moving averages is. Moving averages are just like Bitcoin. 20 day up here, 50 day up here, right? Right around 20, 28 to 30 cents is what we're looking at. And for, for ADA, we're looking at a move of around 10%, 11% to the upside. Same thing for ADA. Is ADA going to break through those areas if we do get a bounce. ADA just doing this green bounce right now and even continuing to trend higher isn't immediately a bullish confirmation. The bullish confirmation comes if we start closing candles, daily candles above these moving averages. That's what I'll be watching in this case that we do get a bounce. Going over to Ethereum, very similar to Bitcoin, breaking this lower trend line. Ethereum, you can see uh, moving averages, the 20 day, the 200 day, the 50 day, just above a lot of confluent resistance right around this 1800 mark, maybe slightly higher. And what is it? That is a move of around, let's go to the 50, around 11% to that trend line around eight, very similar to Bitcoin, eight to 12%. That's the resistance area. Can crypto, all of these cryptos, the space in general manage to not only just pump off of this bounce, right? Not only just pump, but actually pump through resistance instead of just boom, resistance, and we're going lower. That case of going lower, I just want to state this publicly. I don't think it's that bearish. I think on the macro, we start looking at uh, Bitcoin zoomed out. Look at this on the daily. If Bitcoin were to even just hit that target to the downside, meaning we actually pull up to that resistance, it does fail. We don't get the bullish confirmation and we start trending back down over the next couple of months. We have just, just some red months in store. We hit our target in this general area. It's a higher low for Bitcoin. It's a higher low for crypto if that happens. And that's just, I think that's going to be the end of it. I think that's going to be the end of the macro pain that we just survived. And I think bull season will officially 
I think we're just like you change seasons, you start smelling spring. I think we're really going to start smelling spring bull season for Bitcoin. Uh, it just might take a couple months, but I digress from that. Maybe Bitcoin, maybe cryptos in general can break all of this kind of shorter term resistance and, and trend higher in the short to midterm. But these are the things I'm waiting for to see if that will happen. Uh, but we'll see what happens going into this new week. Let me know your comments, everybody. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think we're doing? Where do you think we're going with these crypto prices? I appreciate you cruising through if you're, if you're out there on this weekend. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Again, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button right now and turn the notification on. Get notified as I put out content, crypto news, crypto analysis like this. And, and we're getting there, everybody. Have an awesome weekend. God bless.